All right, I'm going to walk through an assignment that I've had some questions about, and that is the ReadWorks article a day. It specifically had some questions about the meaning mapper. So first I'm going to pull up the, the assignment. It's in Google Classroom. And I'm going to click on Classwork. And it's this ReadWorks traveling across the world. Uh, it says due September 2nd, but there is a piece of it, an article to read every day. So I'm going to sign in, and it's going to pop up on this other website, ReadWorks, already logged in. The questions are coming mostly about this meaning mapper. So the word that pops up is city. It asked you before I typed in random gibberish what the meaning of city was. So a, a kid might define a city in tons of different ways. I'm going to put a place with lots of buildings and people. It's not a sentence, so that's why there's no capital letter or punctuation mark. All right, now I can add another word. So I might choose, I, in a previous example, I used the word town, but let me use people. The connection between city and people is that cities have lots of people. That's, and this is all from my, uh, my thinking. There are a million correct answers to this. So as I read, I might, um, if I, I read this article about Bogota, Colombia, I, um, I might see that it's a capital. Bogota is a capital. And I can see that millions of people live there. That connects to what I just wrote. Um, but I could go back to the meaning mapper and I can add capital. Some cities are capitals. And I might not even know exactly what that means. But I can add to it later if I, if I learn more. Um, so this is just a place to map different words that we learn, different words that we can associate with city. The point of this exercise is building vocabulary. So this helps me see some of the vocabulary that your children are building. Uh, thanks for your great questions. If you have any other questions about the article a day or uh, the, any other pieces of any of the assignments, do not hesitate to ask. I'm happy to help. Thanks, everybody.